Hey everyone, Anthony Alfredo here, and we are at the updated Phoenix Raceway on iRacing. This has been long awaited for many people in the community because even though the track configuration itself was correct, the start finish line has been moved and there's been some other features that have been updated that just make the track look really nice. I'd say this is actually probably one of the best looking oval tracks on iRacing now just because the graphics are super nice. They added a lot of details to little things that end up making a big difference when there's a lot of little things that are improved. And one of those things is actually the catch fence I noticed right away. It just looks really crisp, more three-dimensional rather than a 2D kind of flat surface. So I'm excited about that. We're going to make a couple laps. You can kind of look around and, and see some of the details and then uh, see what it looks like up to speed, obviously, as well, of course. But um, that's not a whole lot different. I feel like the line and all that's pretty similar, especially since the surface update we did have uh, earlier in the year. But other than that, we'll get right to it. You immediately see how much different the cat fence looks. Very clear, three-dimensional posts. Um, it looks super nice. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I think this whole track just looks great. As I said, probably one of the best tracks on the sim, or at least out of all the ovals. We're going to head into what is now NASCAR turns three and four. Take the start finish line, green flag. Run through the dog leg. I feel like you're going to be able to move around down here a little bit in the race because there's enough grip up high to hold someone down. You know, if you hold them tight, take their exit away, it's going to make it tough for them to get a clean lap in and carry their speed the way they need to. In real life, we run the, the PJ1 traction compound here, and I think this weekend for championship race is actually going to be the resin down, which is a little bit different. Um, but the line, line we typically run in real life is up here. The resin starts right about at the seam. So you carry your roll speed up here and you kind of turn down out of it if your car is turning well enough and has enough drive off to make the straightaway really long, just like this. You can see how much time I'm gaining. Then down here, traction compounds up here as well. And you run in this, might even be a little bit higher in real life. Same thing, try to make the straightaway as long as possible. Sometimes you can cut the dog leg like this to shorten up the racetrack, maybe set up a pass. And a little bit older style racing this track, or years ago you could run way down on the apron like that, but it's still an option if you're side by side. Ideally, you want to be in that traction compound up here, though. There's just so much more grip than down there. So you don't see a whole lot of guys move below that yellow line, other than maybe on a restart when you're four and five wide. It's pretty hectic at times, but track looks phenomenal. Really happy with how it turned out. Um, iRacing did a great job, as always just continue to improve their product and make the service even better. One of my favorite things is the flag stand. Obviously the start finish line has been moved now into the correct location uh, based on where it is in real life. But you have this cactus that's lit up with LED lights and that's exactly what it looks like in real life. It's super cool um, and it just makes it look more realistic because that is what uh, we have in real life. But obviously it also just makes the track look better. All those little details are neat, uh, pretty cool features. So hopefully everybody likes this as much as I do. Looking forward to running some official races on it this week to get warmed up for the real-life NASCAR Cup Series race this weekend here. I'll be running in my number 38 Front Row Motorsports Ford Mustang to wrap up the 2021 season. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. Try to make a run down pit road here to end it. A little hot quite a ways around here. I think we could have went way further than that. Yep. We'll take it right into a box here. Perfect. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate the support as always. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the track as well.